right, the textured snapshot is basically an anti-trace. Now, if you have a project that has a lot of pieces, but you don't feel like cutting it all out and putting it all together, just use the texture snapshot feature. Now, what this will do, it will combine all those pieces together, convert it into a texture, then save the outermost cut lines. This will create a print and cut project from any SVG with the click of a single button. And so sometimes you'll get an SVG that is already all pieced together, like this one you see from our website of ScrappyDoo.com. Now, as you can see, these are all separate shapes that I can individually move. And all I have to do is select everything that I want to convert to a texture. And once I do that, all I have to do is push the Texture Snapshot button. And instantly, you'll see that it will create a blackout of the paths, as well as convert all the colored layers to an image that will be set as the background. All right, to demonstrate that it worked, I'm going to go ahead and rotate the paths, and you'll see that the background stays. Now, if you need to rotate the actual image along with the paths, feel free to check out our video of rotating textures. Or you can always rotate the SVGs prior to converting them to a texture snapshot.